Hi, I'm Christine. Welcome to Keep Exploring Kids. On our channel, we are going to share some great videos that help families get together, get outside, and play. We're hoping that you'll join us as we do some story times, create some play experiences, and go on some family adventures together. My husband, my daughter, and I are in this all together, and we hope that your family will join us. If you like our videos, we hope that you'll give us a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and of course, hit that bell notification so that you're notified every time we post a brand new video. <laughs> well, well, well. The set is empty. There's no one here. It's my turn to take the stage. I'm taking over story time. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm usually behind the scenes, but today it's my turn to read a story. So, this is about my favorite bear, Ducky. His Ducky the Disney Bear and Mickey's new friend. Oh, you might not know who he is, but he's amazing. And it is by Jessica Ward. I don't usually do this. Mickey is a sea captain, so naturally he spends a lot of time on the ocean. But sometimes he gets lonely being away from Minnie for so long. Minnie has a seaside workshop where she makes all sorts of crafts. One day she has an idea. She decided to make Mickey a teddy bear to keep him company on his long voyages. As she sewed, she thought about the adventures that she and Mickey had, been, had had together, and she filled the bear with happy memories and love. When it was time for Mickey to set out on his next trip, Minnie went with him to the pier. She handed him a small duffel bag. When Mickey opened it, he discovered the adorable stuffed bear that Minnie had made for him. Mickey was overjoyed. This is the best going away present ever, Mickey exclaimed, and he gave Minnie a hug. You can keep him in your duffel and take him wherever you, with you wherever you go, she replied. I will, and I think I'll name him Ducky, Mickey declared. The next day was a busy one. Mickey had a crew of new sailors to train, and he hardly had a moment to rest. But after dinner, Mickey went down into his cabin and began to feel homesick. He missed Minnie, so he picked up Ducky and hugged him tight. As Mickey squeezed the little bear, a magical feeling came over him. All of a sudden, he felt the love that Minnie had sewed into Ducky, and he wasn't homesick anymore. He crawled up in his bunk and fell asleep, holding the bear close to his heart. That night, Mickey had a dream. He dreamed that, that Ducky came alive and spoke to him, and this is what the little bear said. Mickey, whenever you start to miss home, all you have to do is give me a hug, and the love that Minnie put inside of me will chase away your sadness. In the morning when Mickey woke up, he looked down at Duffy and smiled. To this day, Mickey still swears that the teddy bear smiled back at him and winked. After that, Mickey and Duffy were inseparable. Together, they traveled all over the world and visited many new, place, many new and exciting places. And of course, they made lots of friends along the way. They trekked through the jungle, rode a camel across a desert, and tried all different sorts of food. Mickey didn't. And everywhere they went, Mickey and Ducky took pictures. When Mickey got home, he told Minnie and his friends all about his adventures with Ducky. He told them about the dream he had about Ducky coming to life. Then he showed them all the pictures he had taken and everyone knew Ducky was one special little bear. It wasn't long before Mickey's friends began asking Minnie if they could have duffies too. They all wanted travel teddies who would make them feel loved and keep them company during their journeys. At first it was difficult for Minnie to keep up with all her friends' requests. But she was a very smart mouse, and she quickly transformed her workshop into Duffy Making Central. Once Minnie's friends had duffies of their own, they set off on trips with their little stuffed sidekicks. Pretty soon, they began sending Minnie pictures of themselves posing with their duffies in locations far and wide.
Now that you have your very own ducky to travel with, you can hug him whenever you feel lonely and take pictures with him to send back to your friend. Where will you and Ducky go next? Ian. So this is my friend Ducky. Right now he's dressed up a stitch, but we took off his hat for right now. Then this is my friend Stella Lou, Shelly May, Alu, Kill Tony, and Cookie. These are this is these are all Ducky's friends that they've come out, that have come out over the years. I've loved Ducky since I was a little girl, and it and every night I play with them. I put on a, me and my dad put on a little puppet show, and it's so much fun. They all have their little quirks, and now that you're stuck at home all the time, you're probably feeling really lonely. And these guys have helped me not be lonely. So maybe you can play with your stuffed animals, too. Until next time.